Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry, and today I'll be talking to my colleague Mackenzie Mills about how to find peaks and depressions using Global Mapper. All right, Mackenzie, take it away. So to find some peaks and depressions in some terrain data that we have in Global Mapper, we actually have an area of New Hampshire where where we have this long mountain ridge that has a few different peaks on it. And in order to identify those high points and any possible low points, we'll use the contour generation tool. This will create contour lines for the area, and then based on those contour lines, we'll find our local high points and low points. We'll create these contour lines at 200 meters. We're choosing a coarser contour interval here because we're looking for um, those extreme high and low points, and this analysis will be based on the 200 meter generated contours. Using the option to find peaks and depressions, we're going to look for nested or concentric contours, so at least three concentric contours to identify a possible peak in the area, and then set the maximum distance between two adjacent peaks to at least 500 meters apart, and then the minimum saddle depth also to 500 meters, and this is the change in elevation um, in the area between two adjacent peaks. With this set up in the contour generation tool, click OK in Global Mapper, and we see that contours are generated, and we've got a few peaks identified here. Now, knowing this mountain range, these are actually Mount Washington, Mount Jefferson, Mount Adams, and Mount Madison. And we can go a little further with these vector features now, turning off the terrain and even splitting the layer of generated contour features with a right click in the control center. Um, We'll split this by feature type in order to break apart the line features from our um, found peak features. So now we have two layers in the workspace, one for our contour lines and one containing our few mountain peaks here. Mackenzie, thank you so much for showing us that. I know that our users will find it very useful in their day-to-day workflows. To learn more about Global Mapper and Global Mapper Pro, please visit bluemarblegeo.com today. And as always, we hope that you'll join us for our next episode of Ask the Experts.